There's a mic stand in my kitchen, don't ask about that. Anyway, one thing I love in the morning is coffee. I use an AeroPress pretty much every single morning. I've had it for years, it's been all over the US and the world with me. I've been to multiple countries and it's an easy way to make coffee, it makes great delicious coffee. One of my complaints about the AeroPress has always been it doesn't make enough coffee. So, AeroPress just came out with the XL and my Hopefully my dreams have been answered. We actually just got one. So let's take a look at exactly what was in the box, what was sent. Oh, as in AeroPress. So the fine folks at AeroPress sent us this box with some goodies in it. Got a nice little welcome to the AeroPress family. Well, I've been a part of the AeroPress family for quite a while actually with the uh, AeroPress and then the AeroPress Go, actually you can see up here. AeroPress was right there. Anyway, so in this box we have stainless steel reusable filter, cool. Um, they actually sent a couple of sample coffees here. And then finally the piece de la resistance, sorry my French is horrible. This is an AeroPress XL. This is this is a uh, the big guy. So this one, uh, as you can see here, uh, does all the things like the other one does, but it simply makes more coffee. Double the servings of the iconic standard AeroPress. All right, let's see what's in the box. All right, filters. It's a good thing, and a big basket. This is a uh, definitely larger than the, than the normal AeroPress, as are the filters. We'll do a side by side comparison. Big paddle! Wow, look at that guy. Okay, measuring uh, spoon. Okay, slightly different than the standard AeroPress measuring spoon. And then, like, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay. AeroPress. So, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Let's do a comparison between the standard and the regular, and maybe the Go. I just realized I missed something in here. And this is, I believe, the brew cup. So, complete with, uh, I think that's a piece of cardboard in there, but find out in a minute. Ah, yes. The cup. Got all three of our arrow presses lined up here, and you can see the various sizing. So we've got the arrow press XL on the left, our standard arrow press in the center, and the arrow press go on the right. Uh, so you can see clearly there's a height difference in all of them. The XL, by far the biggest, standard in the middle. Arrow press go on the right is compact. So here's a difference in the baskets that come with all three of these. So both the Go and the stero standard AeroPress are about the same size. The XL is larger. Now when it comes to the stirring paddles, clearly the XL also has an XL stirring paddle and the standard there in the center. And then the compact and folding stirrer for the AeroPress Go. Now when fully extended into the brewing size, Here's the size difference again, the AeroPress XL on the left, clearly, the standard in the middle, and then the Go on the right. You can uh, see that the AeroPress Go is much larger, much taller than the standard, and then the difference between the standard and the Go. Uh, you're going to need more volume for that coffee, so that makes sense. So these, uh, that's definitely a tall boy on the right. Let's take a quick look at what comes with all of these. So with the AeroPress XL, you get your coffee maker, your big paddle. You get the clear brew cup with pour spout, your filter holder, and then you get a bunch of filters. Now there's no holder for the filters, but you get the filters. Standard AeroPress Go, at least when I bought it, you get your coffee maker, your paddle, you get a brewing or a, a grinds grounds funnel to help uh, keep those grounds to go into the coffee maker. You get your basket and then you also got filters with 
a standard uh, handy filter holder. And with the Go, you get the coffee maker, of course, the folding paddle, uh, the basket, scoop, filter holder. This guy just simply opens up here and there are filters in here, which is not easy to do with one hand, but trust me, there are filters in there. And then you get a cover that goes on top of this to store everything. In their most compact size, this is the difference between the XL, the standard, and the Go. The XL does not have a filter holder, but the paddle and the scoop will fit into the opening here. The standard one, when I bought it, came with the filter holder and the funnel, and the funnel and the, the, the paddle fit both kind of in here. The Go is clearly the most compact with everything, including the filters, the stirs, and the scoop all fitting in one unit. Oh, P.S. with the cup. And by the way, rrrp, cup. When it's in its brewing stage, the way you would uh, push it down and such, this comes in to be about 19 inches tall as we measured it. So depending on how high your countertop is, that might be an issue if you are a shorter person. And uh, so you might need a stool or something like that. Fun fact, the new AeroPress XL Brewing Cup will work with either a AeroPress Go or standard AeroPress as well. The standard AeroPress works on pretty much any mug. This is kind of a standard size mug here. This is a kind of a larger tin or ceramic coated metal camp mug. And this is sort of an extra large ceramic mug. So the compatibility of the standard and the Go is very good. Now, the AeroPress Go works obviously with its brew cup, but on a standard size standard size mug, the filter basket's too big. It does work fine on your camp mug, and it does work fine on one of the larger ceramic mugs as well. So I've got about 50 grams of whole bean coffee here. We're going to grind that. And I will say that AeroPress recommends about 30 grams, but I like my coffee a little bit stronger. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is on a finish setting and we'll go ahead and start grinding. Now we'll take our coffee, ground coffee, and we're going to put it into the AeroPress coffee maker here. Um, I'm using the funnel that came with my old AeroPress just to make things a little bit cleaner, but you could certainly use the scoop that also came with it. While our water is boiling, we'll take our filter basket and our AeroPress XL filter. We'll put that in here. We'll set that aside. We've got our brewing cup here and uh, we'll set that aside and wait for the water to boil. Now with our water temperature uh, correct, we're going to go ahead and fill our AeroPress XL up to the right spot. For me, that's going to be just about the top. And then we're going to go ahead and get our AeroPress paddle here, our stir. I'm going to go ahead and give that a uh, stir for about 10 seconds. I generally top it off after that, which is going to just need a little bit more, almost directly to the top. Then we're going to get our filter with a, a basket in here, get that wet. I'm going to take the filter, put it on the top just like this, and then lock it into place. Now, I generally, this is what they call the inverted method, so it's all upside down, as you can see. Um, AeroPress oftentimes says to do it uh, basically the other way. You fill it from the top, but this is what I always do. So now we have our brewing kettle, our blue brewing cup here. And we're going to go ahead and take our AeroPress and flip it upside down, hoping not to spill anything, which I didn't. So there you can see we have it all fit up like that. And... Uh, now we can go ahead and press this guy down. I also thought maybe this would be a lot harder with a larger press, 
but it really isn't too much more resistance. So this is brand new, only made a couple of cups with it. Just applying firm pressure. Until you hear the noise. And that's the noise. Once that's all done, just kind of make sure no more coffee's in there. And then you can take your filter basket, unscrew it, set it aside, and then you can simply eject the puck out uh, by pressing it this way, and then uh, put that into your compost or to your uh, trash can. After removing the coffee puck from the AeroPress XL, we're going to just want to clean this off and take it apart and let it dry. So now we have our cup, brewing cup of coffee, and we can simply pour it into our favorite mug here. And this is a standard size mug. You can see we still have some left over, which is cool. Now, again, this is pretty strong because of the uh, amount of coffee that I brewed. So if you, you can always top it with some hot water, uh, cream, however you're going to do it, or just drink it straight up uh, and uh, enjoy it that way. So cheers.